Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. In this edition of Preaching to the Choir Ministries, we're going to be uh, taking a look at a short vid that uh, Cult Dusty made, and we're going to um, address a question that he has for the Christian community. So let's go about answering this, shall we? Oh, hello there. I'm Dusty Smith, atheist spokesperson and modern gentleman. And I would like to ask you Christians a very, very important question. What if you're wrong about God? Ah, uh, the reverse of uh, Pascal's wager. But you know what? No biggie. I'll answer your question. Uh, if I'm wrong about God, I can assure you of this. I will still be a good contributing uh, a member of society by loving you, my neighbor, as I love myself. And loving this fictional God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. By doing that, love does no wrong in, soci in society. Um, I'll respect your things. I'll respect you as a person. I won't demean you or put you down or anything like that. So I'll still be a good um, contributor to society. Um, I hope that answers your question. Oh, I'm sorry. And there's one more way I want to answer this question, too. We're not wrong about God. Why aren't we wrong? We're not wrong about God because God has revealed himself in such a way to us that we know that he is who he says he is. But let's continue with the video. I mean, just think about it. In this world, there are over 4,200 religions, and in Christianity alone, there are 41,000 denominations. If you really believe that an all-powerful, all-loving God sends people to hell to burn and be tortured forever and ever for choosing the wrong religion, I would be utterly fucking terrified if I were you. I would be scared shitless out of my mind because the odds are not in your favor. For those of you who don't know, Cult of Dusty is a former Pentecostal uh, Christian, uh, uh, now turned atheist leader here on YouTube. Cult of Dusty has never really spent any time reading the Bible. He mentions how many different religions there are in the world and how many denominations there are in Christianity. Um, number one, if you look at these these different religions, not all these religions believe in the concept of heaven or a concept of hell. So he's wrong right from the start with that. Not all religions believe um, that you're going to go to hell. Not all religions out there believe in a God. Okay? And I'll say that again. Not all religions out there believe in a specific God. Um, <clears throat> according to their profession, anyway. Um... But what about all the different um, denominations? Well, Jesus himself said that there will be sheeps, sheep in the, in, in the church, <clears throat> but there will also be goats in the church as well, that there'll be true Christians and then there'll be false Christians. The only way you're, the only way you're gonna be able to tell who's a true Christian and who's a false Christian is by going into the word of God and reading it for yourself to find out. For example, Jesus says that if you love me, you will obey my commandments. And those who hate me will not obey his commandments. Uh, there are other passages in scripture like uh, in Matthew 7 where Jesus is saying <clears throat> to, um, he says that not everyone who says unto me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. And in 1 John chapter 4 verse 1, it says, do not believe every spirit that's, that, that say that they're of God. So it's up to you to do your due diligence to actually study and actually see who's a believer and who is not. So, let's continue. I mean, Christians tell me all the time, well, a billion Christians can't be wrong. Oh, really? There's a billion Muslims. Can a billion Muslims be wrong? Of course they can, and odds are you're wrong too. So on behalf of the atheist community, I would like to invite all you Christians to come party with us atheists as hard as you can while you're still on this earth and allowed to do so. Because if you're right and God really does torture people in an eternal hellfire forever and ever and ever for choosing the wrong religion, odds are, you're gonna be burning right next to us. You might as well get to know us here on Earth while you can. So see in hell, Christians. Mmm, toasty. Logic, fuck yes. Again, cult. As a former Pentecostal, you should re you should have been taught, and you should also remember. The fact that when God reveals himself to an individual, which I'm wondering whether or not he's ever revealed himself to you at all. Um, when he reveals himself um, to an individual, he does it in such a way that a person can't deny what it is that they are experiencing and what they are seeing. Okay, not with their physical eyes, but with their spiritual eyes. Um, you mentioned the fact that, um, that uh, Christians come to you and they'll say 
that a billion uh, uh, Christians couldn't be um, couldn't be wrong. But what about a billion Muslims? And I find that a lot of atheists like to do that when they're when they're um, put in the corner where they want to bring up all the other religions in the world to somehow save their butts out of a conversation with Christians. Now, I'll admit that's probably not the best argument in the world to use. However, it is a legitimate one. Islam and Christianity are two entirely different things. And one of the most unique things about Christianity is, is that uh, Christians do not believe that they're going to get in. That, that Christians do not believe that they're going to get into heaven because of their own merit or because of what they do. They believe that they're going to go to heaven because of what Jesus Christ did. Whereas every other major religion in the world believes that somehow they're going to get to heaven by being good enough of getting to heaven. Let's look at the atheist community, for example. The atheist community doesn't believe that they need a messiah. They don't need a savior. They don't need a redeemer because they think that they're, they're already good. And that's, and that's mainly because they're being intellectually dishonest with themselves. They're not being honest with themselves in the sense that they're, they're looking at all the good that they're doing, but they're ignoring all the wrong that they have done. Okay? So since you asked me the question, and my brothers and my sisters in Christ the question, it wasn't that if we were wrong about God, what if you're wrong? Oh, Pascal's wager! There goes the chat there. There goes the, um, the thingy in the chat there. Pascal's wager. What if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? Hey, you just you asked me that question in the beginning of this video. Now I'm throwing that question at you. If you're wrong, Colt the Dusty, you are going to burn for all of eternity. If I'm wrong, I'll be fertilizer. There is more... You stand to lose more than me. Again, um, I'll live a holy life. I'll be contributing love to the world, uh, a life of selflessness, um, 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 growing and trying to be more and more like the person of Christ in which the majority of the planet, except for this little demonic little group called the atheist community, that would say that Jesus Christ was an immoral person, actually think that they are more moral than Jesus, which is disgusting at best. Um, there's nothing wrong with offering love to the world, selflessness to the world, humbleness to the world. Um, a lot of you can't even separate Old Testament from New Testament and look at the person of Jesus Christ for who he is. A lot of you, in order to, to have an argument with a Christian, you have to bring up the Old Testament, in which you can't even prove that what was done in the Old Testament was immoral. So, again, I stand to lose nothing. I'll be fertilizer and you will be burning in hell if you continue to reject not just God, but the person of Jesus Christ and the atoning work that he, that he accomplished on the cross and the work that, that was accomplished when he rose from the dead. Okay? Because if you don't believe that Jesus that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, if you don't believe that God rose up from the dead, then you have no hope of eternal life. When you wake up after you die, you will be eternally separated from God in hell and then in the lake of fire. That's the reality of the matter. I won't be in hell with you if I place my faith in Jesus Christ. I believe Romans 8, 1 says that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus and are called according to his purpose. So, remember that, Cult of Dusty, when you already make your video and you're standing by your fireplace trying to get warm. And lastly, you talk about the odds and you talk about um, logic. Sir, again, if you would honestly look for evidence for the existence of God... In, in fact, I'll take it a step further. If you will be honest with yourself and admit that the evidence really doesn't have anything to do with it. Rather, um, you got an issue with the morality of the God of the Bible. That's been your issue since day one. And it's about time that you admitted that with your mouth and started dealing with that. Instead of lying to everyone, trying to convince everyone that it has to do with, has to do with evidence. Because it has nothing to do with evidence. At all. It has everything to do with whether or not you agree with the morality of God and what he does in the Bible. You made an emotional decision when you became an atheist, and you're using atheism to try to justify your atheism. You're using your atheism or, 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 or this idea that there's no evidence, which is a lie out of hell, to cloud what you really don't, what you really, what you really have a problem with God with, and that's his morality. Many of you, many of you are not even atheists. Many of you are just anti-theists. You just hate God, and even if God showed up and knocked up on your knocked on your door and performed forty-five billion miracles, you still wouldn't believe. You've already admitted that in the chat, in video responses, and other videos here on YouTube. That's not logic, guys. That's stupidity.
It is pure, utter stupidity. Give your life to Jesus Christ while you still got time. And until next time, guys, this has been another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries, letting all of you know to read your Bible and do what it says. God bless.